<clears throat> Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday, November 10th, 2020, regular selectmen's meeting. Is, um, we are missing uh, Ed Guineer is not with us on Zoom. Is we have Mark Pendergast, Ken Mann, Noah Cobb as selectmen. We have the town manager here and uh, Patty Murray, the town clerk, via Zoom. Is, uh, please stand with me and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, of America. to the republic, republic which it stands, nation, one nation, under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, liberty, and justice, justice for, all. for all. Is that? First order is the approval of our October 27th minutes. I'll make a motion that we present, we approve the minutes as presented. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. Without further discussion, I'll go through the roll. Is Mark? Yes. Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is yes, or zero. <clears throat> Is our uh, first public comment. We have no public comment. Is uh, I do want to uh, thank the town clerk, Patty, and her crew for uh, the tremendous job they did on election day. Is they uh, handled themselves very well. Everything seemed to go pretty smoothly. <laughs> is I haven't heard of any major upset. Um, is Patty? Could you do you have the numbers of how many people voted? Yeah, we had a total of 4,413 voters. Of those, 2,510 were absentee. Really? Yeah, it, so we had, what is that, like 1,900 who came in person. And so. the staff was terrific. We had no issues. Everything went smoothly. The residents were great in and out. It, you know, they had to wait outside in the freezing cold weather, but nobody complained. The day went very well. Is, uh, is, what's the, what, what was that as a percentage, Patty? Do you know? No, oh, off the top of my head, no. We have about 6,800 6, registered voters, but we so registered quite a bit in that um, period before the election and on election day, we have a huge stack. Um, I'm not sure of the numbers yet. We haven't finished putting those into the system, but I can have those at the next meeting. Again, thank you, Patty, and thank you to all your crew. Is, uh, well, thank you. You're thank welcome. You very and much. Thank you very much. Yes, and I'd like to thank the whole crew. Everyone worked very hard under extremely strange circumstances. <laughs> yes. All right. Is, um, we have no public hearings tonight. Um, the reports of committees is I, I did talk to James Bellissimo just briefly outside before the meeting is, um, is he said that the Envision Committee is working on signs. Yep. Is they have signs that they have been designing for um, the uh, rec field, for the public safety facilities, is the welcoming signs coming into town yep. so it sounds like they've been doing a lot of work on that so we'll have those next meeting so. he just has to talk to the chiefs to make sure that everybody's in agreement so. is um i think the signs that those signs they put up at the fire department last week you know the engine one two and three and and the and the you know bfd things they put on something it looks really good yeah really good is um but so, what about a, what about a sign at the end of the road for it? Which is that road? Yeah, is, is that's one of the things they're working on, I think, Mark. Are we going to call that a public safety complex? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, it, it, it's on public safety way. Is um, so it, is you know I, I find it easier to refer to it as a public safety complex than the fire station and the police station. So right, I do too. Yep. Good. Is, um, an awesome complex. Looks really nice. 
So in the next under the department's report is um, we actually have a video of the fire station. And I believe Terry's going to play that now. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Is I some technical difficulties? <laughs> we get we get your screen view, Terry, not your of your computer. Hang on a minute. Terry's, Terry's currently working on that. She's uh, doing the job of two people. Her uh, assistant is quarantining because of COVID exposures. Still holding. <laughs> no problem. She's, she's having trouble getting the computers to switch over in the control room. Technology, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Well, while we're waiting, <laughs> is, um, it, and, uh, here we go. No sound yet. Yeah, she can't get the sound to work on it. Oh, jeez. Well, we we can move on if you want. Yeah. Is um, Terry's having trouble getting the sound to work on the uh, thing, so we're going to move on and um, continue on with our business. Is um, <clears throat> is we have no appointments or presentations. Uh, nothing under unfinished business. Unfinished business is a town manager's report. Uh, the fire station and police station are pretty much completed. Um, we have a few minor things: steel beam in the in the training tower, and, and a quote on this uh, for the concrete floor in the police station. But otherwise, it's done. Um, we, of course, has a final bill to pay, which will be our next me at our next meeting. Um, but the beautiful building and very functional and. Uh, uh, it's already gotten some good use. 
Uh, we also, as, as Tom has said, uh, Envision Berwick has been working on signage. Um, we hope to get that was in the ground and up uh, before the snow flies, uh, but we have to run everything by the police and fire to make sure that they like what they see. And once we do, uh, we'll start getting them made. Um, I uh, sent you all a memorandum of understanding. This is something that uh, uh, York County Police uh, Chiefs had put together and the managers have been talking about doing this. And this is really an agreement, um, doesn't cost us any extra money is just willingness to share when we have shortages of people. And this is really being driven by the pandemic. Um, where if the departments are, if you have a whole department go down, it's, it's going to cause some real serious issues for public safety. So they felt this was a good um, thing to put together. And uh, so if you take a look at it, um, it's actually gone. Uh, Sanford's going to run it by the, their attorney, which happens to be the same attorney that we use. So I'll let them spend the dime and <laughs> we won't. Um, but I think it's a good thing. And they, we're actually talking about dispatches too. Dispatches are hard to come by. Um, but uh, eventually, uh, hopefully this pandemic goes away soon. Um, the water department, just so the public knows, and those of you are on the water system, we got uh, the geology report from Wright Pierce Geologist, and we have about 15 sites along Rochester Street, uh, Hubbard Road, and then Ridland Road to look at. I had sent out letters uh, yesterday to uh, eight residents who own property. They have bigger tracts of land. We need their permission to go onto the property uh, to first to walk a site and see uh, what it is, and then uh, we need their permission if we want to drill. So there'll be some paper shuffle back and forth, but. Um, it's a, it's a start for looking for an, uh, a different water source and they seem fairly confident that uh, there's quite a bit of water on the ground still. Uh, so hopefully we'll just keep moving on that and I'll keep the public updated on what we're doing. Uh, so everybody knows, uh, but it's a step in the right direction to uh, get uh, some quality water. Uh, next month, keep your ears and eyes open for uh, Great Falls Construction. They'll be doing one more public uh, meeting uh, for the public to see where they are and, and hopefully some renditions and things uh, to show the public what they do across the street. And then they, the, at the very last meeting of the month for the planning board, uh, that will be, they'll do their introduction to the planning board. So they'll, that starts their process for getting things started. Um, so uh, we're all excited and hopefully they'll break ground sometime in, in the spring. But um, we're all pretty excited to see that coming. So. Um, that's all I have for now. Um, you want to do the talk about the PUC hearing? Uh, the PUC, somebody we had some citizens and users who filed a complaint uh, about the water quality with the Public Utilities Commission, uh, which is their right to do. Um, and we sent out a, um, a paperwork to the PUC that give them exactly what we uh, have been planning to do anyway. Uh, this has been in the, in the works for the last six months. Um, and uh, the fact that the Board of Selectmen uh, has voted to uh, accept a $1.2 million grant, and also you, uh, we switched engine, uh, engineering firms. We were working with Wright Pierce. Um, so the PUC, I viewed it on uh, public viewing, and they dismissed the complaints because they felt we were uh, doing as much as we can to, in making improvements. So that was a good sign, but uh, so that's all taken care of. Any questions of the town manager? No, is, um, is, I've, I've been told that we are ready to view the video of the fire station. If you want to do that, Terry, go right ahead. There's no picture. No picture. You heard the sound, but no picture that time. <laughs> no close. No. All right. 
No, we're going back to our regular business. Is um, <clears throat> is I have nothing under selectmen's communication that brings us to our accounts payable. We have a payroll warrant number 28 for November 1st, 2020 for the amount of $67,169.23. We have a payroll warrant number 29 for November 12th, 2020 for the amount of $74,385.05. And we have an account payable warrant number 30 for November 12th, 2020, for the amount of $988,761.22. As I'll make a motion to pay our bills. Do I have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Without further discussion, I'll go through the roll. Is Mark? Yes. Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is yes, four zero. Under new business is we need the selectmen to set the public hearing for January 5th, 2021 supplemental town meeting warrant. And we're gonna have the public, wanna set the public hearing for December 22nd, 2020, correct, Patty? Sorry, yes, please. Yes, so. Um, do we have a motion? So moved. And a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, I'll go through the roll. Is it Mark? Yes. Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is yes. Four zero. Um, we have no quick claim deeds or installment contracts. Is, um, is we have abatements and supplementals. Let me see if uh, is Karen on the line, Terry. Uh, yes, I'm right here. Yeah, there, oh, there you, you are. are. Hello, here. how are you? Good, thank you. How are all of you? Seem to be so far. Okay, good. Um, so I am. We just have two items uh, on today's um, agenda. Uh, one is a supplemental tax. Um, it came to our attention that the Sullivan School Apartments, which is owned by the town of Berwick, um, is, it's a taxable property. And um, it was simply, uh, the classification was changed to being a, an exempt property. And that was just done in error when in fact they are, they are a taxable property. So that's why we are submitting a supplemental tax um, to, to the Sullivan School Association in the amount of $33,701.89. Are there any questions for Karen? Nope. Is, um, so is Karen is, you said that this was uh, due to an error in the classification. Is so they have been paying taxes in the past, correct? Yes, yes that is correct. It was uh, a, a, just a data entry error where it got changed from um, an exempt to an exempt property when it should have been a taxable property, and for that reason, it wasn't on the commitment books when it should have been, and it has been in the past. All right. Um, any, if there are no other questions of Karen, is um, I'm looking for a motion to accept. So moved. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. There's no further discussion. I'll go through the roll. Is Mark? Yes. Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is a yes. Thank you. And the next one, Karen? Yep, the next one is an abatement um, for uh, Comcast Maine, New Hampshire Incorporated. Um, this is a business that leases various uh, electronic equipment to businesses in Berwick. Um, and the leasing uh, agents that would be uh, in assessing, um, oops, we received their personal property declaration 
on time. Um, so everything was okay from their end. And we simply did a data entry error where we um, mistyped in the value for one of the items. And it was an, uh, so the assessment was greater than what it should have been by $225,442. So their assessment, instead of being 3,139,659, it should be 2,914,000. $217. Um, and because the business did comply in submitting a timely personal property declaration, um, it is recommended that a, an abatement be granted in the amount of $4,364.56. And on the second page is the calculation for that abatement. Um, are there any questions for Karen? If not, I'm looking for a motion. So moved. Second. No motion and a second. Without further discussion, I'll go through the roll. Is uh, Mark? Yes. Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is a yes. Thank okay. you, Karen. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Well. well. Bye. All right. That brings us to a second public comment is we have no public, so we'll have no public comment. Um, we do have an executive session you know, listed. Is um, We are not going to be making any decisions during that, just for informational purposes only. Um, before we move on to there, does anybody have any other business or non-agenda items they'd like to bring up? If not, is I will make a motion that we enter executive session under Title I, subsection 405-6D for the discussion of contracts and proposals. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Do you have a second? Is I'll go through the roll. Is Mark? Yes. Ken? Yes. <laughs> yes. And myself is yes. All right. Is uh, Give us a few seconds to uh, get things taken care of on this end, and then we'll uh, move on to the executive session. <laughs> 